Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez made his first visit to Haiti Monday, promising more than $20 million in aid for various projects. Haiti was the last country on Chavez's presidential trip that included five countries and simultaneously shadowed political enemy President George Bush's five-country tour of Latin America. Upon his arrival, thousands of jubilant slum dwellers greeted Chavez outside the airport. Not one to miss out on a moment with his admirers, Chavez leaned out of his SUV, grabbing hands and bumping fists with the people as he drove by. The elated crowds chanted, Long live Chavez and down with Bush, as the presidential motorcade moved through the sea of people. Meeting with Haitian President René Preval at the Venezuelan Embassy, the two presidents enjoyed small talk and met with the Union of Venezuelan Army Engineers who are working on various development projects throughout the capital. Chavez said that he was extremely moved by the emotional response from the people of Haiti and added later that it was his country's duty to help the beleaguered nation, citing several historical connections. Venezuela is not a member of the 9,000-strong United Nations mission in Haiti, aimed at restoring order and a functioning democratic government to the country. In fact, Chavez was openly opposed to the controversial departure of former President Aristide in 2004 and the U.S.-sponsored interim government thereafter. However, since René Preval was elected president in 2006, the Chavez regime has enjoyed warm relations with Haiti and offered millions of dollars in aid. This time around, Venezuela is offering nearly $20 million